Phil, a real battle and performance with 10 men in the second half this afternoon against Barnet in a goalless draw. Your assessment of the game? Yeah, gritty and determined when we went down to 10 men and uh, I had to put a real shift in. I thought first half appears we controlled it with, without really cutting them open, but I felt that was coming if we, we retained the patience in possession. Um, but yeah, after the sending off, you know, we've had to change the shape, obviously, because we've got a man less. And, and I thought we handled them well, and I felt there was a moment going to come for us. Um, it didn't, but we'll take the point on the day. Just on the red card, first of all, what was your view of it? And second of all, how much does that almost stunt the where you wanted the team to press on in the second half? So yeah, well, obviously, you know, it's a harsh decision, to say the least. I felt it at the time. I think everybody felt it. Um, the keeper's reaction has probably influenced the ref to, to a certain degree. Um, I've seen it back since, and I think 99 times out of 100, um, it's not a red card for me. I just don't don't see that. Um, but when it happens, you've got to respond, and I thought the lads have responded well today, and um, we'll take the point. Despite going down to 10 men, there was a couple of chances as well, a possible penalty shout, yeah. a great strike from Ollie Palmer, and then Owen O'Connell came close as well. Yeah, I think the, um, the penalty in my eyes is a penalty because he's used his hand to, to stop a goal bound effort um, is in a, his arms in a natural position I think we all get confused with the rule but I always feel if, it, if you've you've stopped a goal bound effort with, with the use of your arm then it's got to be a penalty um, and 1500 fans behind the goal thought it was we all, we all did but but the ref didn't but listen you sometimes don't get those decisions and um, you know today is a, is a solid point for us and it's another point to where we need to get to. You mentioned the change of shape but it was a real strong and gritty performance like you said starting with Benning Gold right until Buckley Tumble and then Dolby up front. Yeah I think that today that we had to defend resolutely on the set plays and long throws we knew that Barnett and Barnett were, were very strong in that department and I thought the lads did that so well today even in the first half where it was a 11 v 11 um, everyone stuck to the jobs and concentrated and, and won those duels in and around the box um, and you know, that's what we needed to do today. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's pleased, pleased a lot of aspects of the performance. A clean sheet is always good uh, for us. Fozzie was, was excellent and uh, yeah, we'll take that into Tuesday night. And ultimately, it's another point ahead of a big week at the race course with two games. Yeah, it's just a, you know, set ourselves up great for Tuesday and um, you know, it'll be a, a great atmosphere and it's a game you know, we'll, we'll be looking forward to. It's important now just to get the lads rested up and, and, and prepare properly as, as we will. And uh, yeah, we look forward to a cracking game on Tuesday. Thanks, Phil.